so in uh, risk calculation i am not going into the detail of the case control versus cohort study uh, we are just seeing the concept how to do this in jamov maybe when we will conduct that epidemiological uh, sessions on these type of study design then we will elaborate more on the study design right now we are restricting only to the concept basic concept of relative risk and odds ratio so relative risk is basically it is also known as the risk ratio or rate ratio and alternatively we call it as a relative rate and it again measures the strength of association it is usually done in a incident study or the cohort study where you have a group of people and a comparison group and you divide them on the basis of exposure like exposure versus no exposure of any risk factor and then you follow them up for the development of a particular outcome so you measure the risk of disease in exposed versus risk of disease in non exposed depending upon what exposure are you taking so in which type of study design we relatively use this so in cohort study like i said you start with the exposed and non exposed group and then as time passes you compare like few people they they develop the disease in the exposed group and they develop the disease in the non exposed so there is no outcome of interest in the beginning of observation but as we move ahead then there are some observations so we compare the incidence of outcome in uh, these two group of exposed and non exposed so this outcome status is established twice at least so in the beginning also you you measure the outcome to see that they are without the outcome and then again after that uh, end of the study also you measure the outcome or till the time that outcome develops so basically it can be this relative risk it is basically measured in a type of prospective cohort study you can do it in the retrospective cohort study or it can have a combination of these two also so these are few example of prospective cohort study so maybe this you can see that this is a classical example of a nurses health study when 117000 nurses they were followed up and initially they had the risk factor they were divided with the risk factor and the risk factor was the obesity so obese and lean and then they followed up with the development outcome was compared and the outcome was cancer or the cardiovascular disease so at the baseline there was a collection of baseline data then there was a follow up period and then there was a determination of the outcome status this was a retrospective cohort study when it was done classically as a employee of tire manufacturer so here all those employee they were divided on the basis so don't confuse this retrospective is not like a retrospective that case control here also you start with the exposure so the exposure like you have started with the exposure of this tire makers rubber exposed so the tire makers and the clerical staff this was like exposure tire maker and did not have the factor was the clerical staff and then they compared the incidence incidence of death so it requires much less time and the cost is much less than the prospective cohort study and then again the randomized control trial where you randomized uh, randomly assign treatment a and treatment b to the two group of people and then you compare the incidence so now what is the interpretation of relative risk so if the value of relative risk is equal to 1 we call it as a no association if it is more than 1 we call it as a positive association or risk and if it is less than 1 we call it as a protective association and how do we define relative risk reduction so if you uh, subtract 1 from this relative risk and multiply it by 100 it is known as the relative risk reduction depending on the sign if the relative risk value is greater than the one then the participants in the exposed group are at increased risk of developing the disease and if it is less than one the participants in the exposed group have a reduced risk of developing the disease now what are, what are the underlying assumptions for this relative risk so the underlying assumptions are first assumption is there should be one dichotomous variable which is like nominal it could be nominal or ordinal and one dichotomous dependent variable assumption second is it should have a independence of observation and assumption three is that uh, the study design we have talked about the study design and here i have discussed all these cohort study so i am just skipping now coming to the odds ratio odds ratio is usually done in the case control study or analytical cross sectional study 
So the underlying assumptions of odds ratio is like in this case, there is a one dichotomous dependent variable and one dichotomous independent variable. Uh, 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 just forgive us for this mistake because here you can make one as an independent and there is an independence of observation and as assumption three is that again it is uh, usually assigned uh, done in an analytical type of cross-section study or a case control study like uh, in this case we select sample from population and we measure all variable uh, only at once and at the same time point this is example of analytical cross-sectional and in a case control study, we have cases and we have uh, equal number of controls, maybe, or if we, you can have maybe one is to two, one is to three, or one is to four, depending on your requirement. And then you see the status of the uh, risk factor, whether they were exposed or unexposed to a particular risk factor. And then you make the two by two table and classify it. So again, the this odds ratio is again, the odds of exposure is same. If it is one, we say that there is a uh, risk is same in both. Rather, no, so no risk is there, no association between the disease and risk factor. And if it is more than one, we say that the odds of exposure among cases, it is greater than among control. And if it is less than one, then we say that the odds of exposure in cases, it is less than among the controls. So now coming to the question. So for demonstration, 